Okay, morning everyone. Uh, welcome to the briefing on Tuesday the 18th. Oh, chilly out there. And you can see why when you look at the chart. We've got easterly wind feeding in over us. Uh, the isobars, they're reasonably close, so it's going to be fairly breezy. Um, suggesting gusting a little bit um, later on during the day. And you can see where it's actually coming from. Um, all the way across, basically from, from Russia. And they've painted this, this sort of feature here. Um, don't think that's gonna get to us um, today, but, but there's an indication on, on both Top Meteo and uh, SkySight that we might have um, the chance of rain or shower by the looks of it uh, later in the day. So pressure is reasonably high, reasonably settled. And the TAF suggests uh, for most of the day, uh, northeasterly, and they're scattered at two and a half. Clouds fairly low at the moment, probably a thousand feet, maybe a little bit above that. So it's just going to be one of those mornings where the cloud steadily rises up to two and a half, probably a little bit more than that, realistically. Uh, uh, as the late morning goes on um, and at some point during the morning I suspect we're going to see occasional gusts um, 20 knots plus by the looks of this as it's suggesting between uh, 10 and 4 o'clock this afternoon more on that when we look at Top Meteo and Sky Sight. the upper winds in the sort of centre of the country 20 knot bracket down in the channel perhaps a little bit stronger um, maybe 25 knots down there but an easterly direction 070 so almost just slightly north of east sap pick if you, if you run through i haven't refreshed this one it, it was quite useful to just show you how um the cloud we saw this morning it was quite sort of overcast it's slowly breaking up um and dissipating as the morning goes along and I think that'll be fairly rapid just keeping an eye on this sort of lump of cloud over Holland at the moment that's, that's sort of curving in towards us there were a few showers in that um, first thing this morning and uh, it's worth watching for later in the day that could be where the sky side are getting the um, the forecast of potentially a bit of rain temperature wise um, it's suggesting there over us eight, nine degrees. Uh, and as you get further west, it warms up a little bit, 12s uh, out into sort of Somerset and, and Devon. That's not surprising if we're drawing the air off uh, the North Sea and it's coming all the way across Europe. Certainly a chilly wind direction. Uh, the wind chill will be uh, noticeable today. Two points. I haven't actually looked at the actuals. I think they're around four degrees at the moment. Should go lower than that. And then sort of playing with those, those sort of numbers. That's the sort of 12, one o'clock sounding. Um, suggesting sort of thermals up to around about three and a half thousand feet. But quite a lot of cloud in the sort of three and a half thousand feet to sort of five six thousand foot area with an inversion here and then four o'clock it goes goes completely wrong suggests lots and lots of cloud um, that could be this this sort of stuff rolling in uh, from holland and open up a little bit at um at sort of seven o'clock in the evening the the actual just shows a very very strong inversion uh, at around about 1,500 to 2,000 feet. That'll move up and as the temperature rises, you know, start to disappear. Um, and another fairly strong inversion, about 10,000 feet. So top meteo suggesting just cloud dissipating by sort of 10 o'clock as we, we're seeing it here, breaking up and then turning into cumulus and bases rising. 
And then we're just keeping an eye on the stuff out to the east of us over East Anglia. So spread out by sort of early to mid afternoon and quite solid cloud cover, I think, uh, they're suggesting in there in the afternoon, better towards the West Country and perhaps further north. Thermal heights. By 11, 12 o'clock, soarable to 3,000 feet. And then for a while, well, it looks fit, getting quite good. Uh, <coughs> three, three and a half. And then we're watching this stuff coming in from the east. So another couple of hours. And it's sort of saying and suggesting that uh, by sort of three, four o'clock, it will be unsoarable here. And then their predicted distance for the day. Around us, not great, but north of Oxford, Cambridgeshire and west there should be fine. Should be good into Wales today if you can get there. Um, temperatures warmer, air's dried out a bit. So, yeah, that seems to be the best area today. And Top Meteo uh, are, are giving the same sort of thing. This is sort of midday. They're suggesting 1,100 metres. Out further to northwest, a little bit lower at that time. Then moving on a couple of hours and just watching this stuff out to the east, but looking better out to the north and into East Anglia, 1,300, 1,400 metres. As the day goes on, so late later in the day, sort of... 2.33 o'clock, it's fairly good out to towards uh, Herefordshire and into Wales. And again, uh, out past Husbos and around that area there. Not quite so good around us, as you can see. So there you have it, folks. Yeah, breezy today with an easterly component. Uh, and the weather should be okay for a couple of hours of local soaring here if you can get away better to the northwest uh, but deteriorating here in the afternoon airspace wise not really a lot going on uh, nothing around us uh, in terms of notams out to the west it's just these are high intensity radio transmissions both on the edge of yeovilton mm -hmm. and at uh, boscombe down Further to the north, Abingdon, article dropping all day. Uh, it's not really a surprise that if you've now got drones operating out of Keeble, that they've got to drop stuff somewhere. So they're now choosing Abingdon by the looks of it. And there's parachuting right over the centre of Bryes. Operationally, aircraft movements, first of all, King Air potentially inbound at one o'clock and a Two o'clock, was it? Yeah, departure of A320. Departure of an A320, potentially at two o'clock. haven't seen and it. Navajo now at half one. <laughs> so, yeah, from, from sort of one o'clock onwards, potentially busy. Um, operationally, will be, as this picture shows here, on zero 09. Cables just on the grass on the south side, probably booming just for the moment until the grass really dries out. Um, and the gliders on the grass, south side. Airfield's drying out quite nicely, but there are one or two soggy bits uh, still. And the tractor's probably out rolling at the moment because it's ideal weather for that, which is unusual in April. Normally it's March time when that takes place, but it has rained an awful lot. OK, folks, see you out there. I guess so the list is busy today. Yeah, so most things out of the hangar and we'll get going as soon as possible.